Hello everyone, welcome to Patshala. Now in this video, we will see how to predict prices of house with the help of deep neural network. So here we are going to learn how to build house price prediction system model with feed forward deep neural network in order to identify prices of house. Okay, so we are going to use data set where we will have input features and those features will be provided as an input to our model and at the last our neuron will be able to identify the price of house okay so which feature is important uh, in order to decide the price of house and which feature is not so important that will be decided by the feed forward neural network on its own so this is actually the beauty of deep neural network feature extraction and identifying important feature from it that will be done by the deep neural network on its own by adjusting its weight okay so if a feature is important then weight will be higher if feature is not so important then weight will be lower so for this we are going to use boston housing data set so in the first cell we have imported boston boston, boston underscore housing module which is available under tensorflow.keras.data set so basically boston housing module is uh, available for uh, taking or downloading the boston housing data set okay so in the first cell along with that we have imported tensorflow and uh, we have imported pre-processing module available under sklearn okay in the next cell we have loaded the boston housing data set with the help of load underscore data method so this particular method will download a data from storage.googleapi.com website so basically this particular file is in the format of numpy zip file name of the file is boston underscore housing now this after downloading this file we are going to get two tuples first tuple is train underscore x comma train underscore y this is for training train underscore x includes training example and the actual value associated with each example is present in train underscore y the second tuple is test underscore x comma test underscore y so again this particular tuple is used for validation purpose where test underscore x includes training example that that examples will not be seen by neural network test underscore y is actual output associated with each training example now if we observe the training shape and test shape we can get that there are total 404 records for training each record have a 13 different input feature okay coming to the test part we have 102 records with again 13 different input features so the actual values associated with the training examples are 404 and uh, actual values associated with the testing output is 102 if we are printing the first record or first training example from training we can observe that there are 13 different values now these 13 different values are from the different range some of the values are ranging between 0 and 1 and uh, some of the values are quite larger like 91.7 307 then we have 396.9 likewise so we have to bring all these input features on some on same line that is in between 0 to 1 something like that so for that we have used pre-processing module from the sklearn 
true value associated with uh, that first record is 15.2 means the actual price for that first record or actual price for the house is 15.2 okay so since we have studied some of the input features are in the different range we have to bring those in same range at the same level so how we can do for that we can use normalize method from the pre-processing module so we have used pre-processing dot normalize into bracket train underscore x so this will bring all these training examples in certain range same is applied for test also we can observe that these these modified values previously values are in the different range and after performing normalization almost all the values are in between 0 and 1 okay why this is so because uh, input features have different values for example uh, square feet area in square feet will be large and number of rooms will be small so somehow we have to bring all these values in between the 0 and 1 for that we have used pre-processing coming to the nor train underscore y train underscore y into rectangle bracket 0 is the actual value associated with this record we are not updating this we are keeping this value as it is okay so this is all about pre-processing now let's try to define our model what i have done over here i have created one function house price prediction model this particular function is responsible for defining the model so in order to define the model we have imported sequential from tensorflow.keras.model and we have also imported all the layers present under tensorflow.keras.layers so in the first statement of the function we are saying that our model is sequential one sequential models are those where we are defining our layers one after another these layers are stacked one after another output of one layer will be provided as input to the next so we have specified that we are going to use sequential model now inside this model we are going to add the layer first layer is dense layer in the dense layer there are 128 neurons with activation function as relu since this is the first layer we have to specify input shape in that layer itself so input shape is nothing but the shape of single training example that we are passing so we can get that shape from train underscore x into rectangle bracket 0 dot shape so this will provide us the shape of first record which is available under training next in the same layer we are going to add the next layer as a dense layer now this time we are going to include 64 neurons with activation function as relu again relu stands for rectified linear unit now there is no necessity to explicitly put connection between uh, dense layer 1 and dense layer 2 automatically connection will be established between these two so tensorflow has provided a way and it has said that if you want to put layers one after another you have to just define the layers that's it connection will be made over there now next layer is again dense layer in that dense layer we have used 32 neurons with activation function as relu and at the last we have dense layer with one neuron this one neuron is sufficient to classify to identify the prices of house now if we observe the actual output these actual outputs are a real number like 15.2 so we since we want to have real numbers over here whatever the output of w transpose x plus b we are going to consider that as it is so that's why we haven't used any activation function over here so this is all about the model definition now 
we have to specify how our model will be compiled so for that we have specified model dot compile and uh, we have specified optimizer as equal to rms prop rms prop is a optimizer algorithm which will identify the loss and it will take a derivative of loss function which will be helpful for a weight updation in the back propagation loss function is mean squared error and matrix is equal to mean absolute error okay so this particular function is returning the model now we have defined our model we want to train our model so for the training we have to use model dot fit but before that we have to call the function which will return a model so model dot fit is used for the training in the for the training we have passed x as a train underscore x y is equal to train underscore y epox is equal to num epox means 100 epox we are using whole data set means 4 not 4 records will be taken for 100 times for the training then batch size is equal to 1 after each record or after each training example we are going to perform back, back propagation over there which will update the weights verbose is equal to 1 means we are going to get actual outputs means we can see what is happening over there and validation data we are using test underscore x comma test underscore y after training we can observe that the for the first epoch loss is 112.12 okay and mean absolute error is 7.78 while the validation loss is 68.24 and validation mean absolute error is 5.90. So it is quite large but if we are moving towards the end that is in the 100th epoch we can observe that loss is drastically reduced to 16.83 while mean absolute error is 2.93 for the trading and validation loss is 27 and validation mean absolute error is 3.48 so these uh, are uh, the output we are getting over there okay so training is completed now it's time to apply the unseen record to this model for the prediction okay so we have taken 13 different values like this we have provided a name to it as test input now what is our job our job is to apply this test underscore input to model dot predict for identifying the value the actual output of this record is 21.1 now after execution of the cell we are getting output as 22.51 so 22.51 is the predicted value the actual value is 21.1 so this is all about house price prediction system model so in this video we have learned how to create a simple feed forward deep neural network for identifying prices of house with the help of